वेलकम टू एन एम ई आई सी टी साक्षत ई कंटेंट प्रोजेक्ट अंडर मिनिस्ट्री ऑफ एच आर डी गवर्नमेंट ऑफ इंडिया दिस प्रोजेक्ट इज ऑफ मार्केटिंग मैनेजमेंट द प्रोजेक्ट इज अंडर एन एम ई आई सी टी दैट इज नेशनल मिशन ऑन एजुकेशन थ्रू इंफॉर्मेशन एंड कम्युनिकेशन टेक्नोलॉजी अंडर दिस मिशन अ प्रोपर बैलेंस बिटवीन कंटेंट जनरेशन research in critical areas relating to imparting of education and connectivity for integrating our knowledge with the advancement in other countries is to be attempted in order to bolster our knowledge resources to obtain and maintaining the competitive edge in the world we require a system of identification and nurturing of talent and lifelong learning knowledge modules based on personalized needs of the learner would need to be delivered to him or her at the right time with the right content interactively to take care of his or her aspirations with these objectives in mind these videos are created for the portal saksham we will learn basic marketing over here Hi, I am LL Mean Learner. I am learner of marketing management. I learn marketing in master's class. The desire for learning marketing comes out of interest. This is very interesting topic. Marketing management is seen everywhere in the society. You see up or down, you see here and there, you can see brand names and logos and advertisements and people working in marketing area. I am very much interested in learning marketing. Let us learn marketing from Dr. J. Bedayani. He is going to teach marketing management under Sikshat E Content Development Project under National Mission on Education through Information and Communication Technology that means in M E I C T. Let us start learning. Good morning to all. Today we are going to learn pricing methods. Welcome to Sakshat E content on marketing management. Today we are going to learn pricing methods. While selecting the final price for the product or services, firm should consider so many factors that affect the final price decision. At this point of time, firm should consider 3 Cs. That is customers demand cost of the product and competitors price there are three main approaches a business can take for selection of the final price first cost based pricing where price is determined by adding a profit element on cost of making product second customer based pricing where price determination is dependent on firm's belief about customer's willingness to pay and third competitors based pricing where competitors price will be the benchmark for setting final price of firm's product or services first cost plus pricing in this method a firm will decide final price by adding certain fixed amount or percentage to the cost Here in this method the main objective of the firm is to cover all its expenses with some amount of return or profitability cost plus or markup price is one of the best method of cost plus or cost orient oriented pricing methods for example firm wants 10 percentage profit on cost of production fixed cost is 10 rupees per unit variable cost is 40 rupees per unit so firm's cost plus or markup is 10 or that is fixed cost plus 40 that is variable cost is equal to 50 now 10 percentage profit a firm has to add to this 50 rupees so he will add i mean to say the manager will add 5 rupees over there So 50 plus 5 is equal to 55 will be the final price of the product. Second method into cost-based approach is target return pricing. 
In this method, irrespective of cost of production, firm decides final price by adding certain fixed percentage on total investment made by the firm. In this method, firm needs to estimate total sales of production unit also, that is product unit also. For example, the firm has invested 1 lakh rupees, total cost per unit is 20. Estimated sales are 5000 units in a year and target return of investment is 20 percentage. Calculation can be 20 plus 0.2 multiplied by 1 lakh divided by 5000 that is 20 plus 4 is equal to 24 rupees. Next is perceived value pricing. Nowadays many companies have started setting final price by adding customers perceived value pricing method. Before purchasing a product, customers assume certain benefits or features from the product and based upon these benefits and features, they will decide the value that product may deliver based upon their perceptions. Customers will pay based upon the perceived value only. Perceived value is made up of several elements such as the buyer's image of the product performance, the channel deliverables, the warranty quality, customer support and software attributes such as supplier's reputation, trustworthiness and esteem. Next is value pricing. To win the customer base, nowadays many companies have started adopting value pricing methods. The aim of this pricing method is to win customers trust and make them loyal customers by charging fairly low price for a high quality offering. Value pricing is not a matter of simply setting lower prices. It is a matter of re-engineering the company's operations to become a low cost producer without sacrificing the quality and lowering pricing significantly to attract large number of value conscious customers. Going rate pricing is the next method in which the firm bases its prices largely on competitors' prices. With less attention paid to its own costs or to demand, although it gives firms little control of their revenue, going rate pricing can be quite popular. In oligopolistic industries that sell a commodity such as steel, paper, fertilizer, firms normally charge the same price. The smaller firms follow the leaders. They change their prices when the market leader's price changes, rather than when their own demand or cost change. So competitor is important which is said as competitor based pricing. Where costs are difficult to measure or competitive reasons response is uncertain Firms feel that the going price is good solution because it is thought to reflect the industry's collective wisdom. Auction type price Rapid technological growth has opened so many doors of opportunities for the marketers to sell their offerings via internet. Initially this method was used to sell the most precious antique products but at present this method has been used by many marketers to sell their excess inventories or to create large number of volume or their of their offerings. There are major three types of auctions in which they differ as per their separate pricing procedure. Number one, English auction, that is what is ascending bid, where base price will be decided and buyers are required to raise the price until price reach to its top. English auctions are being used today for selling antiques, cattle, real estate and used equipment and vehicles. Next, second auction method is Dutch auction that is descending bid, where auctioner announce high price for their offering and then he gradually decreases the price until a bidder accepts the price. And third is sealed bid auction where the buyer can submit only one bid at a time and can't modify the bid also. Another point is, in above mentioned auction type, 
buyers are aware of others bid prices where in sealed bid auction buyers are not aware about other bid prices there can be more methods of pricing too the means the methods described here are major ones but as rightly said over here that there are three approaches cost based where cost plus or markup or going rate kind of pricing are there next is demand based where again few methods like penetration pricing keeping a very low price and then afterward gradually increasing it and scheming price where you talk about you can say a very high price to catch up the real scheme and then afterward leaving the buttermilk for the uh, competitors that is demand based you talk about competitor based and we have talked about uh, competitors price that is what is going rate price benchmark price a bit above the competitors price can be said as premium pricing a bit lower uh, than the competitors or industry rate is said as discount pricing like many methods can be adopted newer and newer technologies come newer and newer methods come newer and newer marketers come and the methods evolution will be continuous thank you very much thank you very much for the class and watching i have learned a lot did you have a good day from the learner